Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest writer Dick DiBartolo. This is episode 1127 for Tuesday, July 6, 2010. The Philips Norelco T980 Turbo Vacuum Trimmer. Now get ready for Dick. Hey, it's Dick Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Rider, and the Gizwiz. One day a week turned out to be too much to let Leo do a Turn the Table Tuesday. So this week it's Tom Merritt, and we're calling it Tom's Turn the Table Tuesday. Tom. Did you, I was right. a customized theme. You what? That was a customized theme. Did you catch that? Uh, catch it? What are you kidding? We have Dan Ludis. We have theme writers who spend. No, but it usually and says Leo, and uh, and it said Tom. Oh, I, I was, didn't catch that. I was impressed. Tom. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and and the, you know what? They managed to get your own voice in there. <laughs> yes, amazing. That was amazing, Tom. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I, I, as you may have seen in the video version, I was looking under my desk. and uh, I, did. I, I did a very good acting. It was perfect. <laughs> With motivation, I uh, I have a a gadget uh, that is recently useful for me. Recently useful, okay. Uh, now you've been rocking the mustache for since you were a baby, right? As far as I know. Yes, I was born with this actually. Yeah, uh, the the facial hair is new to me, uh, and I, I started doing it when I was between jobs, just as a joke. People seemed to like it. My wife said to keep it, but I have to say, after about a month, I started to look a little like a hobo. Uh, so I ordered the Philips Norelco T980 Turbo Vacuum Trimmer. Oh, my God. <laughs> that looks like you could do the lawn with it. The best part about this thing uh, is that it has a vacuum uh, off the attachment here. So this little uh, blue part here is, is it a duct that as you trim... It sucks the uh, whiskers into here, and you can you can actually look through the front and see them as they build up, so you know when to empty it out. And you don't get that little hairs all over the uh, all over oh, the sink. That's good. That's good. You could also sell them to fans. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. yeah. First, you have to get fans, but then, well, yeah. Once you have them, then but that's you're... that's no problem. I can you know dig those up on the street or something, uh, oh. and then. And then sell the whiskers. And it has two attachments. You've got a, uh, this is the beard attachment. And then there's a, uh, there's another one that's the mustache trimmer attachment. So that you wow. can just, yeah, this would be useful for you. So you can just kind of yes, 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 trim yes. the edges, you know, trim the hedges, make things work. It's actually, and it's, it's pretty nice. It just kind of flips on here. They're pretty easy to slip back and forth. And then you've, I don't know what I did with it, but there's a, oh, here it is. The guard rail. And, uh, can you and do it also, hair? can you can you do hair with that thing? You know, you could. Uh, because I, that I looks like a hair for that. But but yeah, I mean, it, it you'd have to kind of comb the hair out. But I bet you could use it to trim the hair. Oh, okay. Also, it uh, it has a uh, ten zoom settings. Depending on how you know, if you want to have the bushier open source guru hair or the close cropped hipster hair, you can you can set it to all those different levels. And uh, and it has a turbo. Does it say that like on the side, hipster professor? I, I, just have numbers? I may be misrecalling that. I don't have the manual with me right now, but that oh, okay. that's as I remember it when I was okay. reading it. Captain, did it have captain on there? Because I have a boat. That yeah, a yeah. Seven? I think that's seven. Is the yeah, captain? Seven. Yeah, that's me. That's captain. 
and it has a turbo button. This is the only part that I don't understand at all, which is, you, you know, you turn the thing on, and then you press the turbo button. And it Does makes it speed it, up? Yeah, and it speeds it up. Oh, okay. Well, that's turbo to me. I guess if you're in a hurry to, to trim in the morning, you just hit the turbo button and go faster. I don't know. So what's it? Yeah. Ru is it re rechargeable? Yeah, it's a uh, lithium ion battery in there, uh, nice. and you can uh, you can. There's a plug comes with it. You can recharge it when it gets low, uh, and and actually, if the battery's dead, you can run it directly off the charger. Which sometimes you know what? that's the, good. Sorry, yeah, sometimes these shavers don't let you do that. No, and that's ridiculous. If you're in a hurry and you suddenly realize it's dead, and then you have to wait four hours. I don't like. So that's that's good. So what does this puppy uh, cost? Now, how much would you pay for the Philips Norelco T980 okay. turbo vacuum okay. trimmer? I would say the list. Don't answer because you also get this carrying case. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I'm going to say the list price is $119. Uh, $35.26 on on Amazon. Uh, list price <laughs> Does is it give 90. the list price? List price is $44.99. Wow, that is, that's an, un oh, okay. Uh, the, yeah, that is really a good deal. It's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's fairly inexpensive. And I actually, there are places, there are beard, I'm sure you know this as a longtime facial hair wearer, but there are beard specialty websites uh, uh, giving advice on how to trim your facial hair. And they, they highly recommend this model. Oh, well, that was good. But I, yeah, I love the is. vacuum thing because I can actually do it right now. Yes. And I don't have to worry about getting, getting stuff all over the place. But you know what? I have hair coming out of my computer at this end. <laughs> oh, I had it in reverse. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. It was hooked up okay. to Ethernet. So <laughs> I was actually sucking the hair in right. across oh, that's Skype. good. You could shave over the internet. You could leave that on your desk yes. and shave wherever you are. I like <laughs> it. They need I to come like up with that. the networked version of this. Absolutely. So there you go. That's it. Philips Norelco T980 Turbo Vacuum Trimmer. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? For my notes, I have to actually write that down. Da -dun 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 -dun. The Philips model number again? Norelco T980. C980. Turbo Vacuum Trimmer. Wow. Wow. So, and how much did you pay? I paid $35 for it. For all uh, those words, I would have expected more. Turbo alone is usually $10 extra. That's, yeah, it's roughly, uh, it's less than, uh, it's about $6 a word. Wow. Yeah. I like it. I like it. That's good. <laughs> That's good. But uh, so yeah. those, those folks who had been watching my other shows on Twit and were wondering when the beard was going to come under control, I was waiting for this to arrive. I had ordered it. <laughs> okay. That's what Now, is so the long. beard going away totally? No, this is, uh, this is the trimmed down version oh, This right is now. the trimmed down version. Okay. Because yeah. I've not, not uh, seen you in a long time. Okay. Setting three podcast host is what I've, I've got it on. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Yeah. But don't use seven because that's Captain Dick. Right, and I, I have not attained that rank yet. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I think it skips right past seven if I try it. Ask for authorization. Yeah, yeah. Send your captain's credentials, That's please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I you know I mean I, I know it's not a high tech gadget, but uh, it is the most recent gadget I've gotten, and it's the one I've been having the most fun messing around with. I like it. I think it's good. I think it's good. Leah would have gotten three weeks out of that. Listen, we were down to almost using a two by four, and then suddenly he remembered he had something uh, <laughs> else on his desk. But we came close. Would you, would, would you say he would have gotten three weeks out of it? Would he have done like each attachment separately? Yeah, exactly. He would have said yeah. last week, but that I didn't tell you about the carrying case. Oh, wait, let me save the carrying case for another week. I forgot to include the mustache trimmer. Oh, uh, that's that's no, that's half a week. You know, I don't really understand the mustache trimmer. It's not that differently shaped from the beard trimmer. It's just narrower. I mean, if you look, they're just this is the mustache, this is the beard. 
I guess it gets in there a little easier. Maybe but easier. Yeah, exactly. Other than exactly. that. A little more know. control. Yeah. But, you know, I think it's better if you have actually have those on the device when you use them. That may be one of the things I was doing wrong. I was finding that it just, it was starting to yeah. hurt. When you when do it, that really and just make the noise. Yeah. And when you go. Mm -hmm. My wife was looking at me funny. My dogs yeah. were looking at me funny. <laughs> they always look at me funny. But, so I didn't, I didn't notice. Well, now you the know. Chat, See, chat we learn, actually, we teach, we learn. <laughs> the chat room's actually seriously saying, that's for fine control. Oh, for fine control. Okay, good. Good. We have some Good. some shaving experts in the audience, but we do. And someone wants to know if it has a weed whacker attachment. You know, I, I wonder if only it, the forty five dollar version. I think Philips Norelco is uh, is missing out on the uh, the Apple model, which is to sell a lot of uh, extras that you can you know you can add on and turn it into other things like a hair trimmer and a weed whacker and uh, you know powering small one stroke motor boats if you are a captain. Yeah, if you are. So there you go, $45. You would think. I, I, it's actually cheaper than most of the regular shavers uh, I know. that I've got. I know. It is amazing. So I recommend men and women, forget shaving. Let it be a beard, even if it's on your legs. It's much cheaper. It's much Sounds easier. right to me. Shall we move on to our letter? A letter? I, and we'll I have, have a different kind of thing. Here come the letters, those lovely letters. Here come the gifts with letters now. And our letter is from Jay York, who says, I know you are a fan of Think Geek. I think everybody at Twitter is a fan of Think Geek. Love You're a fan of Think Geek? In case you have not heard, they were served a cease and desist order recently. It reminded me of your story about how Mad Magazine received a letter from the Lucas Arts lawyers over the Star Wars parody. The Think Geek letter is almost as good since the product in question is canned unicorn meat. Yes, it was their April Fool's joke. They put in the slogan, the new white meat, and the National Pork Board is claiming it, it infringes on their slogan, the other white meat. Naturally, Think Geek feels it won't get far due to the parody aspect, but you have to admit that William Gaines might have enjoyed seeing this story. The quote from the press release is just as funny. Quote, it was never our intention to cause a national crisis and misguide American citizens regarding the differences between the pig and the unicorn, said Scott Kaufman, president and CEO of GeekNet. In fact, Think Geek's canned unicorn meat is sparkly, a bit mm. red, and not approved by any government entity. Also, due to the possibility of people being offended by this slogan, they are offering $10 off any order of $40 or more until June 30th with the code PORKBOARD. You may have that already seen this. <laughs> is brilliant. Uh, one of my it? favorite stories uh, of the past month, frankly. You know, this vacuum didn't work that well. I've got some shavings here to clean up. Uh, oh. But I, I ordered the unicorn meat. I don't know if you did. And it is sparkly red and a little spicy. But oh, I didn't taste. know spice. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. It's the uh, as long they say as it's, no unicorns were hurt to make that meat. That's well, fine. they anesthetize them before they carve the meat out of them, and and then I it see. grows back. Yeah. Uh, I, what you don't want to do is is eat powdered horn. That's that is a lie. That does not work. Uh, you want to stick to the meat. Now this was this was a crazy story. Uh, that that someone. In, a, in the legal department at the pork board would say, literally calling something the new white meat could infringe on our patent. We need to stop this. And just... It, it's bizarre. It, yeah. It's bizarre. Uh, um, and and they, you know, the... They knew it was a parody and they sent it anyway. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, you know, when he referred to Gaines, uh, William M. Gaines, the, the founder of MAD, who used to 
provide free legal uh, assistance to magazines very early on that were doing satires and was sued. Actually, it was a little magazine in the Midwest. And Bill said, listen, MAD does exactly what you are doing. And you being sued is ridiculous. I will defend uh, your lawsuit. And thanks to Gaines, he, he got on the books that satire without uh, the intention of doing out and out harm is an art form. And so, you know, satire and the Lucas thing that, that he referred to was... <laughs> I did the, the Star Wars takeoff from Mad, and George Lucas sent a letter to myself and Mark Drucker, who, who had uh, drawn it, and said there should be Academy Awards for writing and for art, and Dick should get one, and Mort should get one. And then two days later, the Lucas's lawyer's letter came. This is copyright infringement. Uh, that article is seven pages long. We want 15% of the profits. We want all the original artwork. And so Gaines uh, just scribbled across their letter. Gee, George liked it. See attached letters. Nice. And, then we <laughs> <laughs> and it's <laughs> always true. One hand does not know what the other hand is doing in the, in these cases. Uh, and a, a, another one of my favorite cases in in, in this this history. And that that's fascinating stuff. I didn't realize that you were actually. I I read that Star Wars. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I am even more impressed to be allowed to co-host this show with you this week wow. now than I was before. But uh, Rank Judge Justice Rehnquist, often vilified by many, uh, the former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, was a big fan of political cartoons, and he wrote the opinion for one of the uh, the landmark cases allowing parody. Uh, and I think it was a play. Was it Playboy or Hustler? Now. Uh, it was Larry Flint, uh, one, one oh, of Larry Flint's right. Uh, yeah, so it was Hustler had written this, you know, horrible parody of Jerry Falwell, and Falwell had had sued, and Rehnquist ruled in favor of Hustler because he was afraid if they ruled in Falwell's favor that political cartoons would fall uh, fall prey to this kind of lawsuit. Because he was a fan, he uh, he wrote the opinion saying, no, if it's if it's parody and it's clearly parody. Then you're you're fine. You you need yeah. to have that open speech. So thank goodness, thank goodness for thank all these goodness. different. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes, especially political cartoons. Boy, uh, you know, Mad used to get in trouble. We used to uh, this was before me. They used to run run uh, the, the the head of the FBI as J. Edgar Electrolux, <laughs> and. I think it's on, if you go to smokingdun.com and, 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 and uh, search for FBI and Mad Magazine, and they wrote Gaines and said, you know, you're making fun of a man who's the head of this great organization. And Bill said, oh, sorry about that. We won't that again. And then in the next issue, they did it Jay again. Edgar, like, and it, Lux is back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm. I, it's late on a Tuesday, uh, and with all this table turning, I'm getting a little hungry. So uh, I'm cooking up some unicorn meat, Dick. You're welcome to join me, uh, but we should probably wrap up so I can go eat. I'll be here. D A I L Y. It's own gravy.